foster care crisis uh, born out of an opioid epidemic. And um, what we're really good in this state at stepping up to, the community is at stepping up to meet the greatest challenges that we face. Tonight, we meet one of those people in the community who is stepping up to help. The Foster Coalition reports the average age of a child in foster care is nine years old. Just over half are moved in the system three or more times. Many children enter the system only with the clothes that they're wearing. Tennessee Governor Lee explaining the problem there. 10 News reporter Grace King shows us why some foster kids in East Tennessee have comfortable new pajamas to sleep in. For most six-year-olds, picking out new pajamas can be exciting. They feel good to get them. A feeling so good Tegan Looper decided she wanted to give other kids some too. She said, well, I really want to raise pajamas. Pajamas make me feel good. And so I want other boys and girls to feel good. Around the holidays, Tegan sold hot chocolate to her neighbors, taking donations and collecting pajamas. Unicorns, space ones, and another unicorn one, and bear ones. Fulfilling a need, the compassion closet in West Knoxville has had for months. In December, we were really low on pajamas um, and we had a lot of influx of children coming into care and new children coming in, not being able to have pajamas. While it started small, we thought mm, she'll probably get a few pairs. Tegan's idea took off. I collected a lot. In total, 233 pairs. Each of them will help a kid entering the foster care system. To just be able to fill our bins up and then be able to provide pajamas to these kids in need. It's amazing um, to just see that selfless spirit in her. A selfless spirit Tegan's taught at home. I want to know that people what? Are helpful. And that people love us. A lesson Libby Looper hopes will stick with Tegan forever. Each set of pajamas is a face, is a boy or a girl that she's affecting, and that seems to have resonated a lot with her, that those are people that she's affecting. It. She is stepping up big, and while those donations help children already in the system, there's one organization focusing on the day kids are first removed from a home. Grace shows us the woman who's changing that process to make kids feel safe and loved. That's tonight at 11.